everybody, welcome to Weather Nerds. Yeah, if you've got a thing for weather as well as a bunch of other things in life, uh, I like to talk about uh, a bunch of science stuff, and that's what this page is going to be kind of dedicated to weather forecasts, uh, space weather, things like that. You're coming to the right page. This is my first YouTube video uh, for this uh, becoming a YouTuber, which I hope to do now that I am a retired military. I hope you can come along for the journey. We're going to talk about the winter weather outlook here for 2003 2024. Now, what we'll talk about real quickly is a couple things you probably have heard out there in the media world talking about El Nino is that we're heading into an El Nino year. What exactly is that? Well, I want to show you that here right, right now. As you can kind of see, these are the sea surface temperature anomalies. These are where you see areas in red where temperatures are above normal, blue, below normal. And you see this kind of red zone just off the coast of South America. Well, that's got an influence on the jet stream pattern across the United States. And we're expecting an active subtropical jet stream to kind of be riding here across the south. Uh, out, off the west coast of California and coming into the southeast. So a stormy weather pattern to say the least. It, and sometimes indicative of a split flow where you kind of get one of these jet streams that kind of go like that. Uh, so we're going to be watching it very closely here through the season. The other thing I like to use here for forecast wise is the North Atlantic Oscillation. Now what ex exactly is that? Well it's kind of the, the way the jet stream flows across the country. When the oscillation is a negative, when it's a negative that means you're going to have cold weather across the eastern half of the United States typically during the winter months and warm weather out west. When it's positive, that means it's going to be colder in the west and warmer in the east. Now, just, just kind of looking at what it's currently doing out there and what we're seeing right now is that it's sitting in a negative pattern or coming into a negative pattern coming up. And that means that we're probably got a cold shot coming down, which, which is what we're tracking coming in the United States, coming in toward this upcoming weekend, the first weekend, real full first full weekend in October. So we're going to be watching the North Atlantic Oscillation closely through the forecast period to see uh, how that's going to impact the, the that short range forecasting, say 10 to 14 days out. That's, that's the other thing I'll be watching. Now, let's talk about what we're expecting. This here is, uh, like I said, the computer data crunching it right now, projecting right through the winter months. Now, looking ahead, this is November of 2023. You notice you see all the pinks or the, the yellows there and the kind of oranges. That's indicative of the warmer weather pattern, okay, right? So you know it's going to be on, on the plus side. But I'm going to step you through this and watch what closely as this happens. So as you go into December, the one thing I notice here is uh, is that you notice that we're like near normal across the south and across the southwest. That's probably indicative of talking about El Nino again, where the jet stream is going to be active through here, bringing in these active storm, this storm systems, little disturbances, keeping it kind of wet and rainy across the southeast. So we're going to watch that closely. Now, as I go through time, look at January. Wow. The bulk of the country, we're talking about the bulk of the country here, is going to be looking at <coughs> temperatures pretty close to normal for this time of year. Not bad at all. And to be honest with you, I kind of like a cold winter. I like to, I don't like warm winters to say the least. Most of last winter was on the plus side. And this one right now looks like it's going to stay pretty much, um, you know, uh, looking at the south, east, northeast, looking at average temperatures going into February. Uh, still a little bit on the, on the plus side here on, on the west coast, especially the northwest. Uh, but generally looking at temperatures close to seasonable for this time of year. And as I step through here again, wow, look at that. I mean, you're looking at... Uh, even some below normal temperatures here going into March. And that's what happened last year. You had the polar vortex, that area of low pressure that's typically up in Canada kind of drop down over the Great Lakes here. And you kind of get these cold shots that kind of rotate down like that. So uh, going into March, if that holds true, we're looking at possibly below normal temperatures across portions of the, say, the Southeast going into March. So that's our initial outlook right now for the winter. It looks like we're in store for a pretty active weather pattern across the majority of the country, especially the southern tier. And overall, looking at what I'm seeing right now, uh, it'll be the close to average seasonable wintertime weather with shots of below normal temperatures, especially going into later into the winter. That's the forecast trend. At least that's what the, the long range projection models are showing us right now. I hope you can subscribe to my channel, become a follower. We're going to be doing this on a regular basis, talking about climate outlooks for a couple of days. We'll talk about uh, space weather anomalies, things like that, tips to take care of your car through the winter weather. You name it, we're going to do it. Or you message me, you got something you want to talk about or like me to talk about, 
Heck, I'll go out and do that too. So anyway, this is the first edition. I hope to be doing some video editing with this in the short future as I get better at doing this and using the OBS software, which is I'm using to do this platform and hopefully make this a good, friendly product for you. All right, that's it, guys. Take it easy. See you on the next one. Bye.